this makes me feel like a bad boy in a way and a few hours later I'm gonna be a gentleman. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Rotten Rebel. Today I have my good friend Sander with me and we are going to do a joint review of Red Tobacco from Mancera. So the reason why we're doing a joint review of Red Tobacco is because we did a surprise perfume gift and I gifted Sandra with Red Tobacco so I really wanted her feedback on the gift that I gave her. So instead of me just doing this review, we are going to get her reactions to it as well. So let's get it on. Some of the notes in red tobacco are cinnamon, oud and saffron. It also has jasmine and patchouli, and of course, tobacco and vanilla. So how does red tobacco smell? Let's try it out. Yes. So the opening of red tobacco can be quite harsh and rough. I don't think it's a beautiful opening, but just give it a few minutes and it's going to change quite a bit. So I get, so I get something that's a bit leathery. I'm not sure why. Yeah. I'm not sure if leather is even in this one, but I get a touch of leather. Yeah, me too. I, I do get the cinnamon, I get a few other spices as well, and I definitely get the vanilla and that tobacco. To me, the vanilla is sort of a, a bit stronger than the tobacco, okay. uh, but this is definitely dominated by two notes. It's yeah. pretty much vanilla and tobacco, at least to me, yeah. along with the spices. And that's so interesting because for me, this is really a tobacco fragrance. Mm. I think the tobacco really stands out. Ah, yeah. so this is a tobacco first perfume yeah. for you. Ah, okay. Definitely. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, you said that it was jasmine in this one. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, you, and I usually can pick up jasmine quite well, but I can't feel it in this one. No. Um, but yeah, so this is, to me, is a, uh, sweet gourmand thanks to the vanilla and something maybe some fruits or something yeah it's supposed to have almost <clears throat> also apple and pear ah so maybe it's okay that. uh along with the tobacco and uh, yeah i i i like it yeah i really like it so i can really get the the spices i can't say that it's just cinnamon that i feel uh, but it's it is a spicy fragrance and other than that, this is just mostly tobacco and vanilla. Mm. But you don't need much more than that to no. have a really great no. experience. No, I agree. So how does this perfume make me feel? Well, the opening and the first part of this perfume makes me feel kind of a bad boyish, if I'm going to put it that way. Like I'm going to stir up some shit or have a lot of fun, something along with those lines. But the dry down is completely different. The dry down is actually quite a bit elegant and sweet, if I'm gonna put it that way. So yeah, I like the two different kinds of ways that th this makes yeah. me feel. It feels like this perfume has two different kinds of personalities and yeah. I love those kind of perfumes. Uh, so yeah, I guess the best way to describe it is that this makes me feel like a bad boy in a way and a few hours later I'm gonna be a gentleman. Uh, so yeah, that's the way this makes me feel. How does this make you feel? Yeah, it's uh, funny you said bad boy because I was going to say that this is a, a true badass perfume. Ah. I would put this on maybe going to work in a, a really nice suit. Uh, just looking so cool and business-like and I would feel like a badass. But uh, it would also go well together with uh, a romantic black dress for a date. Yeah. So it really is, as you say, first it's bad boy and then it's uh, a gentleman yeah. or woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So we, we pretty much feel the same way then. Yeah. Okay, cool. So who is this perfume for? 
I think it's perfectly unisex. I think any man or any woman can wear it. How do you feel about it? Yes, I, I really agree. Uh, I mean, I would use it and I know that you love it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's so perfect. pretty much anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So what about performance? I think this is sort of a nuclear. The opening just hits you right in the nose and it gets stronger from then on and it lasts quite a while. So I'm gonna say that this perfume is going to get you noticed with quite a few amount of sprays and it stays on your skin for quite some time. So I think it's really, really good. How do you feel about it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, the first time I tried this was just like an hour ago. Mm. Uh, and when I first sprayed it on, I sprayed it four times. Uh, and I wasn't satisfied. I wanted more. Whoa. So I put on four, four sprays more. In addition, yeah. Ah. So uh, it is a strong perfume. But, you, but not strong you, enough for you. Not then. strong enough for me. Oh, okay. I want to have very much of it. Ah, okay. Okay, well, cool. So who should buy red tobacco? And I'm going to let you start. I think that this fits both men and women. I don't think it's a youthful uh, fragrance. So prob young people are probably not going to like it. Um, but anyone who just loves tobacco fragrances, since the tobacco is so... Um, so all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna agree. I think both men and women can use it. Uh, I think you brought up a really good point in that this is probably not a youthful kind of perfume. Now I'm the last one on earth who puts age or gender on a perfume. I really think that perfumes are limitless in every single way, but I fully agree on that this doesn't feel like something that I would have worn when I was younger. No. Uh, and I don't think most young people are going to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna say that either you are an experienced fragrance enthusiast and you have sort of explored all the different areas of perfumery and you know what you're doing and then most likely you are going to enjoy it. Uh, or if you really love tobacco and vanilla kind of perfumes, then this is most likely uh, right up your alley but if you do not enjoy tobacco uh, or vanilla then this is obviously not for you so how are we going to rate this perfume this is one of the perfumes that i will have on my shelf together with my other exclusive favorite perfumes so this is a perfume that i know that i will use a lot and that i will uh, really like and enjoy having on so because of the tobacco together with the vanilla which is a favorite of mine not as much a favorite as it is for you um, but i am going to give it i think a nine because wow. it's a really really good fragrance okay cool um yeah i think uh, i really like red tobacco i've been through quite a few of these um and I enjoy the tobacco and I enjoy the vanilla in it. I think this has different kinds of personalities as well. So like I said before, it does make me feel like a bit of a bad boy, but at the same time, a gentleman as well. And I love that in perfumes. So with that said, I am going to give it like an eight. I think it's a really good perfume. Uh, but it's not a perfect rebel, if I'm going to put it that way. And I highly recommend it if you enjoy tobacco fragrances um, and if you like basically sweet gourmand perfumes with tobacco in them. Yeah, and when you give a perfume an 8, it's a good perfume because you don't give that high ratings. So no, I'm yeah, my 8, uh, if, if I'm... If, if I give a perfume an eight, it's 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 pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, if I give a perfume an eight, that's a really good rating. Yeah. So yeah, you think it's really, really, really good. And I think it's really good. And we both recommend it. That was it for our review of Mancera's Red Tobacco. 
I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would smash that like and don't forget to subscribe to me, Rotten Rebel, and to Sandra's channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.